Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the epic battle of Flutter vs React Native. I'll guide you to the cross-platform galaxy. But hey, before we launch into this intergalactic showdown, do me a favor, subscribe to Widget Wisdom, where widgets meet wisdom and tech talk gets a humorous twist. Now, let the cosmic clash begin. React Native, the Jedi of the cross-platform realm. So, React Native, the mobile app powerhouse introduced by Meta in 2013. It's like the superhero of the coding world, using JavaScript to bring Android and iOS platforms together in harmony. Major players like Facebook, Instagram, Uber, and even the big W, Walmart, swear by React Native superpowers. Advantages? Oh, they're galactic. Reliable, native UI elements, hot reloading for rapid changes, it's like the app development equivalent of a light speed chase. But beware, the dark side lurks. The UI can be as tricky as navigating an asteroid field, and the framework is still evolving. Choosing additional libraries is like navigating a map without coordinates. Flutter, the rebel alliance of UI awesomeness. Enter Flutter, the mobile UI framework from Google, the fresh face in the cross-platform arena. It's like the Rebel Alliance, fighting for flexibility and expressive features. Released in 2017, it creates interfaces faster than the Millennium Falcon can do the Kessel Run. Flexibility, scalable widgets, and GPU rendering make Flutter a rebel with a cause. It's like having your own droid army building desktop apps, progressive web apps, and single-page apps. But hold your blasters, Flutter speaks Dart, a language you'll need to learn. It's like learning a new alien language, but don't worry, I've got videos on Dart, Flutter, and React Native on my channel, the Jedi Archives, if you will. Similarities, where the Force is strong. Now, let's talk about the cosmic bond between React Native and Flutter. They're both open source, like the force flowing through the galaxy. Hot reload features. They're the lightsabers of coding, instantly reflecting changes without refreshing. And the concept of a single code base for both platforms? It's like finding a shortcut through the hyperspace of development. Differences, the force awakens, but differently. Differences time. React Native uses JavaScript, while Flutter speaks Dart, like choosing between R2, D2 and C, 3PO. Documentation? Flutter's organized, React Native's a bit of a rebel relying on third-party help. Installation? Flutter involves a bit of GitHub magic, while React Native is a simple NPM install away. Components? Flutter has its widgets, ensuring compatibility, while React Native embraces third-party components. A bit like getting accessories for your starship. 3D support? React Native takes the lead, making it the Chewbacca of 3D applications. Which one is better? The galactic decision. So, the million credit question, Flutter or React Native? It's like choosing between joining the rebellion or becoming a Jedi. Dart or JavaScript? Efficiency or a vast community? The decision impacts your project's destiny, so choose wisely, young Padawan. Career opportunities, may the jobs be with you. Now, let's talk about the job market. Both React Native and Flutter devs are in demand. Salaries? React Native devs in the US earn around $93,000, while Flutter devs bag $89,000, both more attractive than a bounty from Jabba the Hutt. That's it, fellow developers. React Native and Flutter, two frameworks, one destiny. If you're ready to boost your skills, check out the links in the description, your shortcut to mastering the force.